Hey there, Pastor Casper here. Um, this is going to be an unboxing video for a Sneaky Pete full concealment holster outside the waistband pouch. Um, I've already recorded the box opening, the packaging opening part, so I'll splice that in here and then I'll also uh, demonstrate it, which I'm currently wearing the rig right now, and show how it fits and how it works and talk a little bit about that. Here's a, here's a little video you can see of, of the unboxing itself. Hey, so this is going to be an unboxing video. I just received a package in the mail from my friends over at Sneaky Pete. Uh, that didn't help any. But anyway, um, I made an order from Sneaky Pete and looking to see what they got for me. Two items from Sneaky Pete, fresh out of the mail. This should be good fun. Nice packaging, by the way. That's kind of cool. Comes in a nifty little drawstring bag. And inside there is a good old Bible for Pastor Casper. Except that it's not a Bible at all. It's actually a concealed carry holster. This thing's, I'm six foot four. My hands are quite large. This thing is pretty enormous. It is probably, in fact, I'll even go grab a tape measure and give spe specific measurements. Yeah, so overall height's gonna be about eight inches. Overall width, about six inches, depth, less the clips on the back side just around just around two ish i'll actually let you see the measurements there that'll help some so that's the overall size of this guy it's made for uh this is actually advertised by sneaky pete this is for the glock 19x which i assume would fit the glock 19x mos um but what they don't what they didn't identify on their site but of course what what those of us who have glocks know the Glock 45 is the same size as the Glock 19X. So the 19X and the 45 are the full size grip frame with the compact slide. So for all the safety sallies out there, here's an empty magazine. Here is an empty chamber. Firearm has nothing in it. Empty magazine in the empty firearm. Tactile loaded chamber indicator shows no, no weapon and no, no uh, round in the chamber. So empty as empty can be. This guy fits into the sneaky Pete holster, nice and tidy, just like that. And the Glock 45, Glock 19X is not a small pistol by any means. That's a good sized gun. Um, this pouch is going to look ridiculous when I'm wearing it. It's for outside the waistband carry. Obviously, you wouldn't tuck this inside your pants. Um, but, as I said a second ago, at six foot four and 300 pounds, I'm a big dude. I don't really care to have something jabbing into my, my belly or my hip uh, more than necessary. So this on the outside, I think, is gonna be a much more comfortable way to carry. So we'll see how that works. But that's the general idea. You got this nice little pouch, magnetic closure, top and bottom. Retention's pretty decent. No click retention, but I'm also not going to be running around chasing people with this thing. I'm just going to be carrying it around my person. And since the law has changed in Texas, we're now able to, uh, we're now going to, as of September 1st, open and concealed carry are going to be on the constitutional carry system. So this will be my, my carry rig now for Texas. Um, completely concealed, but not exactly secret. So sneaky Pete, um, they do a pretty decent job, I think. That's a nice. This is a. This is a nice, nice, well-made leather pouch. Stitching is in good shape. It's got these cool little rigid plastic bumpers there to hold the shape of the of the top of the case, the top of the holster here, so everything stands in place. Um, they advertise that it's impossible to accidentally depress the trigger. Um, I wouldn't call it impossible. I could get my finger on that trigger, but 
the easier way is to slip two fingers in and get a hold of this thing with good trigger control on the way out. Uh, with some practice, I think it'll work pretty well. Overall, it's a good deal. I also picked up one of their belts. So they sell, they sell some heavy duty belts to go along with that. It's a big, thick leather belt, so that's not a bad deal either. I'm gonna try all that on and see how it works and maybe add that to the video too. All right, nice low angle camera work. Good belly shot here for everybody's enjoyment. So here is the, the holster on my belt. Got the Sneaky Pete holster on with it, um, or rather belt that, that, can, that I also bought. This is the holster itself. Um, again, in repetition for all the safety sallies out there. We have empty magazine, empty firearm, safe as safe can be. So the deal is, that's the holster size. It's exactly the same size as the profile of the gun. Gun fits in like so. Ta-da! There you go. And for pulling it out, not too bad. I think this will definitely do. It's not the very best holster in the world. It's not the very worst holster in the world. Um, it's very comfortable to wear. It looks ridiculous, which is perfectly fine. Uh, but it has a cross on it, you know, so there's that. But in any case, um, it's an okay it's an okay dude deal. This will definitely, this will accomplish the task. There's no... Since I've never done a, an unboxing or a product review or any such thing like that, um, this, I don't, don't, want, don't want to do stars or any thumbs up or any kind of garbage like that. Um, this is uh, my second concealed carry holster. My first is an urban carry inside the waistband, slips down below the belt line in the front of your pants and looks like you're uh, carrying something you shouldn't be in your pants. Um, which also is not a bad way to carry. This, I think, is a, is a much more comfortable way to do it. For someone, this isn't exactly a tactical carry holster, so, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Um, I don't intend to ever...